Uh, hello everyone, welcome to Brother Jack Training Center. Today we are going to make a training for the A3 UV flatbed printers. As you know, this machine is based on Epson 1.8.0. And we have five colors, CMYK plus, five, uh, plus four white. So totally it will be five colors for this machine. And after you have the machine, normally you have to check around the, the machine to see if everything's okay. Uh, normally there's no problem because we we make a very uh, very safe package for all the whole pack package. And here will be the the whole machine, and this is the chiller. This is the chiller system for water cooling for the UV lamp. This is the whole machine, and this is the toolbox. Uh, of course, uh, firstly we are going to make a, a, a training for the machine parts here. Okay. So basically, uh, for this machine, we have uh, uh, three main parts. The first one will be the control system. This is the control button for, for the control machine. This is the power button. This is the uh, control panels button. This is for up, this is for down, this is for back, this is for forward. The table will be working forward. And this is uh, the other buttons here, right here, here, and all of these buttons are useless for you. And uh, also this power and this light, this light, this light are for error or for position uh, adjustment. So basically this is very uh, easy for this control panel. And that's the part will be the working table. Uh, this is our working table. You can move it out uh, by your hand. And working area for this machine is uh, uh, 28 uh, by by 59 centimeters long and this is working table and then it will be very important part that it will be the ink system uh, for the ink system firstly here it will be the white ink cartridge I mean white ink uh, bottle and here it will be for uh, CMYK colors so th basically this is for colors and then and then this machine you will have uh, the, other, the, other, the other parts that will be the ink, the ink tubes and tube here. This is the damper. Remember that the four big, four big dampers are for the white ink. The other four dampers are for the color ink, C and Y K. We have labels here which will be very easy for you to, uh, to recognize them. Uh, and also here it will be for uh, for, for this, it will be for the waste ink tank. I mean, during the cleaning or during printing, there will be some waste ink. The ink will come here. And here, th this cover, this box, is for the, the repair. I mean, prepare, I mean uh, repair rate for the machine here because we have powers. So basically, this is the uh, whole system. Firstly, let's repeat again. Firstly, it will be control balance, control panel. Then it will be working working table, then it will be in system. So that's all for the machine introduction. And for the next part, what we are going to show, to show will be the uh, toolbox, what we have along with the machine. And normally you, you, you will have this part, this is the cover for the machine. And you can just, uh, you, know, you know, this machine is a unit holder. And after working, I mean daily, we can we can cover it by, by this cover. I mean, let's have a try. So this is for the production of the machine. This part this part is very important because uh, uh, after after working daily, uh, no, this machine you this machine is UV system. So basically, we have to protect the machine after daily working because we have to protect the light to the ink system, or the ink will become dry. So I just want to make a demonstration for production, and then we can see out. Hopefully here. Then it will be the it will be the toolbox here. What do we have along with the machine? Firstly, it will be a, a UV anti glass. For this, we are going to use. Uh, because you're working, the UV lamp is very really harmful for uh, your eyes. So normally we have to take it, and then you can operate the machine because uh, you order to protect your eyes.
So this is a uh, glass. Uh, another thing that we will, you will have will be the power cables. So it's normally we have different standards, but this this machine is for the USA standard. So this plug are for the USA standard. We have two cables. Why this machine is for machine? And this one is for the chilling system. Another thing will be the USB cable. So this is the USB cable along with the machine. And this cable is three meters long. And then it will be the, for dampers. We can have dampers. We have a spare parts for damper. Uh, two spare parts for the white cutter, and the other two will be for the color cutters. And this part is very important. It's, it will be used for to make a lubrication for the sliding system during the working. After normally we have to uh, lubricate the uh, moving system every two weeks by this one. Then it will be spare parts also for the ink tube. We have a three meter small ink tube for the white ink for your back for, for backup. Then it will be for the waste ink tank. It will be used for here part, or you can just take it a little part for make uh, the ink uh, sucking. Then it will be the the ink tube. I mean the syringe. This is for sucking the inks from the vampers. Then there will be a key. This key is used for opening the, the back cover. This cover is used for the prepare, I mean for the fixing or for the repair of the main board and the power board. This is very important. Part of this machine will be the, the CD, which is very important, and also the USB uh, dongle for the RIP software. So these are very important as well. So let's put here here and then everything is ready. So, for, so that's all for what you have along with the machine, when you have the machine, in the first place. So that's the part we're going to do, we will connect the, the power. The power will be here, we just connect the power. And then, we will turn on the machine, this is the main power button. First we turn on the main power button. And on the screen, it will it will say brhcp two eight six zero broadcast.com. And also we have our service hotline here. Then we will see this stand keeping to be ready. So before we make it work, we have to make a machine testing before we proceed. So first we are going to make a. a Testing for the buttons, for the control buttons. Firstly, it will be the up button. So when you press, there will be a song. When the second press, it will stop. And then this part, this small button, we are going to use is uh, this one is for very mini up adjustments. Also, it will be for the uh, down button, this one. Okay, then uh, it will be for the forward. Then it will be for the back. Okay. So the buttons are working very well. Normally there is no problem. Then we are going to make a. You know that uh, for for the height, for object uh, object height, we have a, a sensor here between this part. So we are going to make a to, test, to testing for automatic stop. The table will stop automatically until it's come to the right position. Okay, so let's stop. Uh, in order to make a upgrade testing, let's make this one. Okay, let's make a testing again. Okay, as you, as you know, the sensor part is around here. So if, if we want to use automatic high adjustment, we have to stop table 
until the object is here in the right position, I mean under the sensor. So we're going to make that. It will stop automatically, then we'll, we'll put it back. Okay, so everything's okay for the control buttons. Okay, so this one is this one for the control panel testing and the power testing. So there's no problem. Next the part I need to show will be the printing system. Because we have to uh, you know this machine we have two parts. First it will be electronic part, then it will be the printing system part. So just click the ready button. It's like contacting here. That means the movement system is connecting to the printing system. It will take some, some time for the first time because normally it will take around two minutes for the first uh, initialization. Okay, great. So you can see the uh, screen system is set. System ready with two prints. Okay, so this is the ink system. This uh, this white for the white ink you can feel uh, 220 millimeters of white ink here also uh, here it will be for the uh, CMYK colors for each one we, we can feel 220 millimeters for each color So uh, this part is very important. This part is for the chiller system working as well. Uh, it will be working for the uh, water recycling. So for the connection, uh, this one is for uh, automatic UV lamp adjustment. Okay, and. This one is for the water temperature controlling. So there is a holder, you have to make sure this is on the down part. Okay, so this is for the water, two, uh, two water tube for the recycling. But normally, we don't have the specific one, which one is for water in, which one is for water out. We just make it, uh, I mean, you can connect uh, it anyway here. Okay, so this is for the water chilling system connection. This one is for the temperature adjustment. This one, this one, this one is for water recycling. This one is for the automatic uh, LED lamp adjustment. And this one is for the light power. So normally we'll make it a maximum. I mean, turned to the right end. Here is for main power. <laughs> 